another episode of the Beer Ambassadors. I'm your host, Philip Denton, the host with the most to gain. Today we're at uh, Melvin Brewery, right here on 14th and Market in East Village. Um, so today we're going to be trying the, uh, I think it's like the bubble, bubble gum, sorry, bubble gum wrap uh, beer. It's like a Hefeweizer. Oh, we tried that and we're going to try the Jesus Mexican style lager. We're also going to try the cold Matapan and uh, it's going to be fun, relaxing, interesting, all that. Okay, folks, so we have, right here we have the Chili Scout. It's a uh, collab with the uh, Border X. We did a show there, they took care of us. And now we're at Melvin Brewery, and they have collaboration with them. So that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna ch taste this out. So I'm a, I'm a big fan of dessert beers. I don't know if you've been watching my show. You know, it's Christmas. We have, we have that dark chocolate stout. Um, what you get with this is you taste the chili right away. But as you're done with the tasting the chili, you get that dark, like festive, you know, I want to say like almondy type of beer. Uh, kind of like when we were at Border X, we tried it the Charming Man. But we have something. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, it was the Punk Sale. My bad. Uh, anyway, so I, I recommend this. It's really good. As far as Drunken Dan's, I'm going to give this a 4.5. This will get you there. Fine? Yes. Recording? Alright, so, what's up guys? We'll do a review. It's a little loud in here. We'll go outside later and we'll talk more about it. But, I'm going to do the Golden Masapai. Good stuff. This one's, um, if you follow us, like me in general, across YouTube, um, Enrique and I actually did a review at Por Vida brewery right across from Border X, which is interesting. A lot of these beers are kind of like crossing with um, B-Stock, which is my favorite ramen place, which is two blocks away. And then um, Border X, which is one of our best videos, Dan and Logan. And then now we're talking about Por Vida coffee in this beer. It doesn't even look like there's coffee in here because it's golden, right? Um, but it's right across the street from Border X, which is, this is one of the reasons why I wanted to record here because there's a lot of places that I like already that they actually have been talking to. So, let's get to it. Alright. What did you smell? You know what? The smell and the, and the beer itself is really on the light side. Um, if you're new to, to uh, craft beer, if you're new to this, you know, lifestyle, I guess, if you want to call it, uh, this might be your go-to. I know a few people who can't do IPAs. You know, I did, I personally didn't like IPAs. As I've been doing all these brewery reviews and beer reviews, I it's grown in me. And now my beer of choice when I you know when I'm off for the camera. It was the hoppy, right? I, I I go over for the IPAs now. Okay. Mainly the hazy's IPAs, but I still go for the IPAs, which is a uh, you know from March to now we keep an IPA low. So, and then my wife actually is moving away from my PAs. So, it's weird. It's a cycle. Anyways. Coors Light's my favorite choice. Oh my god. <laughs> Miller Highlight. Nah. <laughs> Cobra. <laughs> anyway. 211. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, hurricane? No, stop. Whoa. <laughs> is that the Tupac Hurricane? <laughs> so, again, it's on the light side. This is your introduction. Uh, intro beer, you know, when you're, if you're ever here with, a, with some friends and you're drinking IPAs, you don't want to look like a wuss, you want to look like you know what you're doing, go get yourself a muscle fun, right? You won't feel bad. Now, I said that there's coffee in here, I honestly don't taste or smell the coffee. Let me take another swish and we'll see. Again. I don't taste the coffee. Um, carbonation is like, very low. Uh, easy to drink, you saw it, I just, whoop. So, do I recommend it? Yes. Drunken Denton's, 
I expect a little bit more for my personal taste, so I will give it a three. It's not bad, but it's just not where I want to be. It won't get you there that quickly. So right now we're having the killer beans. Um, it's a 5.8 alcohol content, and it's a blonde ale. How do I know that? I cheated from my menu notes. Sorry, I'm a cheater. Kind of like the Patriots. Now, okay, so that comes out, and it's like a tart, it's kind of like a sweet and tart. It, it goes in sweet and it goes in tart. And uh, it's nice, I like it. I like it so much, I'm gonna do it last week. <laughs> I think your hand likes it too. I think my hand's a little drunk. So, like I said, Killer Bees, it's something that you could, uh, let's say, okay, here's a good one. It, it, let's say you're mowing your lawn and you want to have that beer, you know, it's your day off and you need to use it on your day off, you have a beer. I know Comer has a, a beer on his day off. But you're, you're mowing, you're going, you're doing your landscape. When you go, you either have your water or your beer. So when you're mowing your lawn, you're going to want that refreshing beer. I suggest the killer bees. Not the African killer bees, because those things will kill you when you're mowing your lawn. But the Melvin killer bees. As far as dentons, I'm going to give it 3.5. How do you feel about the hazy IPA? You like hazies? I don't. You don't? I don't. I, I'm more of a blonde filter. Um, if you see in my reviews, I'm more of the dark stout chocolate uh, Christmas type beer. But this hazy, this has a nice taste to it. it you smell the aroma, you smell the hops. Um, this will get you, you know, um, as you're doing your landscaping. Or if you're at the beach, it'll get you. It'll, it's gonna get you there. Like my my uh, expression is gonna get you there. But it's 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 something nice. Duncan Denton, tell me. Look, there's Romero. Look at Romero. Romero. Hey, is that a safety ambassador over there? That's a safety ambassador. Come on over. S1. Uh, I'm sorry, excuse me. Snake one. We're literally going to have a supervisor <laughs> on our show. Didn't we train this cat? Well, there was rain and I got this rain. What up, man? All right. So I'm going to use my notes. The menu, my notes. All right. Why are you cheating? It's not cheating. I wrote this down, all right? You use what the brewmaster wrote. I'm using what I wrote. I'm the review master. All right. We got the Melvin IPA coming in at 7.5. Okay. And IBUs at 80. Color, copper, as you can see. Nice little small thin head. Um, it's clear, even though it's a copper color, I can still see the world upside down. Anyway, if I go ahead and smell it, I can smell the alcohol, but boy, oh boy, I can smell the idea. This is a good one. I've had this one already, my personal time. Well, can you act like you never had it before? Oh, okay. Let me. Can you play in character? Hollywood's calling. I wonder how this would taste. If only I could just get a cup. Netflix, HBO. Whoa. Okay. All right. Review's gonna be a little bit different than what I expected. Reason for that is we have a Bay City situation here. Holy shit. We got a lukewarm beer. Yeah, but whose fault is that? Don't let your beer get lukewarm. 
Don't do that. Don't do that to yourself. However, after the terrible blow, after the terrible blow of lukewarm, it is still delish. The alcohol does kick in real quick. I can feel it stinging my the back of my throat right now. So this beer will get you there pretty fast. Well, it's 7.5. Would this be a big, a good beer to drink on your NFL Sunday games? This is no. You'll get drunk too fast. You'll you won't last the first quarter after two or three of these. I mean, we were just talking to our boy Romo, and he was saying that he wants to do a four loco beer review. The thing about that is it's fourteen percent. This one right here is more than half of that. So. You drink two, you drink three, yeah, you start a fight by the second quarter. Oh. But you make a good beer. That's all that matters. Well, Comer, how many trunk and dentists do you give it? You know, look warm. Four point six. Whoa! Not lukewarm, solid five. It does change it, but it's still good. Not, I'm already feeling it. Anyway. We got a DJ in there, DJ Rat. Right. Get your boogie on. <laughs> 